to EVs. But companies like ChargePoint believe as more and more consumers give them a spin, both the economic benefits and the driving experience will keep them away from gas for good. Mark New, CGTN, San Francisco. Lauren Fix is editor in chief of Car Coach Reports and an automotive expert, and we're going to put some of her expertise to you here. Uh, Lauren, uh, you know, we've been hearing about some of the accessibility of these electric vehicle mm -hmm. charging points, but isn't one of the obstacles in, in breaking the taboo the fact that Americans like speed? You know, you fill up your gas tank in two or three minutes. Will that ever be the case with these charging stations? Well, it probably won't be the case. So with battery technology, the way it's developed over the years, even at a level three charger, which is a fast charger, you're looking at about an hour in order to get about 80% of the charge. Still, people in the United States want instant gratification. We stand in front of the microwave now and say, oh, come on, let's go faster. Question so one, thank you. Yeah, when you, when you have seven minutes you know, to fill up a tank, it's a lot less. Ha, ha, Lauren, how much progress has the U.S. made in terms of electric vehicle developments in the past uh, five to ten years? Uh, you know, I'm thinking in terms of the, the battery storage and the length of charge. Well, the length of charge has extended a bit. I think right now, in order to get consumers on board, you're going to need about 500 miles of charge. And there really isn't anything. There's a few that have come close. But we have the biggest problem here is with temperatures. Really cold temperatures and really warm temperatures shorten that battery life. And that's an impact to consumers because they get range anxiety. So there may have to go to a different type of battery like lithium before we can get to that point. What should the U.S. be uh, focusing on at the moment to more quickly adapt electric vehicles? The, the car or, uh, you know, we're hearing a lot about the infrastructure around the car. Well, it's a combination. The first thing is they can't go too fast. If the United States goes too fast and they start putting up charging stations everywhere and producing all the cars, if consumers aren't buying them, then you're just throwing money away. So you have to remember in the United States, when you purchase an electric vehicle, you also have to purchase car insurance and car insurance is twice as expensive on electric cars than it is on combustion engines and also another factor is manufacturers aren't making any money on every vehicle that's sold so when you're looking at this car manufacturers aren't going to push too hard because they're not making any profits the charging stations like charge point they're making money every time someone charges but then the consumers have to realize if it costs me more why would i get rid of my used car so there's a lot of hurdles that need to be cleared it's not as simple as just saying, we'll put up more charging stations, we'll produce more cars, which they're doing. Uh, I spoke to somebody a, a while ago about electric vehicles, and one of the things he told me is that the design itself is the same as it had been for roughly a century, and it really it's just an issue about the, the market. Uh, why is the market in the U.S. growing more slowly than it is compared to Europe and China, for example? Well, Norway has the number one growth right now. They're, they've got 74% of the vehicles that they're selling are electric. And again, there's a lot of incentives involved and there's a lot of charging stations. Plus, the way their cities are laid out, especially in Europe, is completely different than in the U.S. They have everything in clusters. We are literally everywhere, rural, city, you know, and because there's so many different types of variants where people live, for every single person to consider one of these vehicles, it depends on where you're going and what you're doing. So that's a big factor as well. We have a $7,500 tax credit that uh, President Biden wants to double, but that still may not be enough. You cannot sell vehicles just strictly on incentives, and people don't buy cars every year. Typically, on average, it's every three years. So that's going to make a big difference on when people consider these vehicles, and then they're also going to look into their total cost because there's still a maintenance involved in owning any vehicle that moves. A lot of companies have said that they'll phase out uh, the combustible engine. Uh, we just saw GM in Shanghai announce it'll do just that. Uh, here in the U.S., do you think this infrastructure bill could be the, the push to sort of turbocharge that change? Do you expect at any point GM U.S. to make a similar announcement? <clears throat> I can't see that happening. When you're using a pickup truck, which is a number one selling vehicle in the U.S., is the Ford F-Series truck. For you to make a Ford truck that people can use as a work truck, whether it's for plumbers or any type of work type of uh, equipment, you are going to need a vehicle that's gasoline powered because you use that vehicle to do your job as well. So that plus SUVs, the problem is we drive different vehicles here in the U.S. We like larger vehicles. We have larger families. And, and that's going to be difficult for people to give up. Right now, people don't want to give up their freedom. They want to be able to go places. They don't want to slow down their vacation by stopping every couple hours to get a charge. And that's going to be a huge factor. So if a manufacturer totally decides 
we are going 100% electric vehicles in the U.S., they won't be in business long because there's no profits being made on any car company. Not even Tesla makes a profit today. So until those car companies can produce a profit, there's no way that the car companies will 100% move that way. Even though the government is pushing them that way, they'll say whatever you want. But in reality, they're not going to make that move 100% in their planning, because remember they plan like five years ahead until they're 100% sure they can one, make money, and two, consumers want to buy them, and three, there's charging infrastructure. No doubt a roadblock the White House is aware of. Yes. Uh, Lauren Fix from uh, Car Coach Reports, thank you for joining us.